shiny cardboard and What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and today I got the One Piece Film Red Starter Deco featuring Shanks and Uta. All right, so I got like six of these decks. They're mad cute, tiny little decks in little deck boxes, and they're so dang cute. I don't know if you've seen them in person, but these little things, there's no extra waste inside of it. Cardboard inside, and it's just cardboard. It's shiny cardboard and cardboard is box. Cardboard box. And they're One Piece cards that you can play the One Piece card game with. Speaking of which, if you want to win some One Piece card game promotional packs, all you have to do is make a commercial for the One Piece card game and send it to me. You just use the hashtags in the description below. Go down there and copy those hashtags. Put them on your commercial. You can make it on an Instagram reel, a YouTube short, or a TikTok. Send that reel to me. And the best reel when I hit 6,000 subscribers is going to get four of these promotional packs. So go make that commercial. Have a blast. Have a blast doing it. And let's check out what's inside of one of these six shanks decks. Shanks is so much. Oh, and a little extra treat and excitement for the film Red Movie. We got one of these V Jump magazines still in the plastic that I'm going to open and show you guys the promo from inside. Oh, and if you like this stuff and you hit that subscription button, that would be super cool. And I would thank you so much. All right, let's look at this super cute deck box. You want to talk? Talk about a cute deck. This is this is what you call a cute deck. This thing is so kawaii. It's kawildly wild. Why kawaii? Um, yeah. So I got a couple of them. I'm gonna open four. So I have my two play sets of everything. Cause in the starter decks, they don't always come with four copies of all the cards. Some of the cards are just two copies. So if you want full play sets, you need two. Ooh. Oh, Shanksy boy. Wow, that is nice. And it's even got some plastic over it. Look at that. That is a good looking leader. Wow. Shanks is looking tough. You know, I usually feel like Shanks looks more slim, but he looks really like broad and buff and Chad in this one. You know, he's got a real Chad neck. You can feel his Yonko presence in the way that he is standing in this card. So that's a, that's a pretty cool looking card. All right, so you're going to have to excuse me. I have not seen all the One Piece movies. I have seen Stampede. I'm definitely going to see Film Red, but I am currently catching up on the One Piece anime. I've read the manga, and once I've caught up with the anime, I will watch all the movies. But this is aim i think i'm checking the one piece dev site which i'll leave a link to in the description below also if you guys want to see cards and translations you can go to the one piece dev site to check that out but i'm pretty sure this is pronounced Ain, and she basically ramps you so you pay for play her and she'll play a dawn rested which is pretty good pretty strong for four but she doesn't have counter power and then she'll be a body to swing with on the next turn and you get one two three four Ain. and after Ain, we have Anne. this is Anne. Anne is a blocker, just your two cost 3K blocker, kind of standard for purple. She is a film card, so she's searchable off the searcher, but I think for most purple decks, you'll want to play the two drop 3K power blocker with the 1K power from OP set one. But if you need film cards, she is a film card, but no counter power. And we get four of her. Oh, it looks like there's a shiny Uta here. Shiny Uta. Oh, Uta. Thank you so much for the party. I love this shiny things on her ears. What? That looks so dang good. What the heck and heck? Oh, man. What a decision. I don't know if you guys know how reverse holofoil works, but on holofoil cards, you choose parts to be opaque. And they made a great decision here to make her all opaque. Just a holofoil coming through on her headphone things, whatever those are. I love Uta's design. I think she's such a cute character. She's got this really cool hairdo and like very awesome sweatshirt jacket thing that she wears. I would totally rock that thing. That is mad cute. And yeah, I, apparently she's the best diva. I don't know the I don't know the storyline. Apparently she and and Luffy were friends as kids, and she's like Shanks's daughter, but adopted or something like that. I don't know all the details, but she's got 1K counter power, which is great. And she's got a pretty interesting skill. Also, she's Dawn minus one rest one of your opponent's cards five or less on block so basically if you block with her and you sack one of your dawn you can rest one of your opponent's cards five or less which is pretty strong resting cards is very very strong in this game so she'll definitely be a card that you want to play around if you see her on board or possibly rest her if you have a way of doing that but great looking card there's two utas in here which same we got two shiny cards in each of the other starter decks next we have karina karina is an amazing card so she's a two cost and basically the way she works is you can activate main trash a film card from your hand 
And if you have less Dom than your opponent, you get to ramp to Dom, which is absolutely crazy. So really, if you set her up and set her up for a, a turn where you're gonna be doing a minus effect, you're essentially gonna be ramping back up to Dom. So really, really strong card and definitely a target that you're gonna get rid of because this card is gonna let your opponent accumulate a lot of value. So once she gets rested, you wanna swing into this card. You do not wanna let this sit because she will lay eggs and her eggs are double Dom Dom. They're gonna be getting Dom Dom, rested Dom Dom right off and how many of you heard do we have one two just two and this guy's also nasty this guy is Gird Tesoro he's a five cost 6k power and when he swing you can minus two dawn and draw two cards which is absolutely crazy so imagine using these two cards together where you're at five dawn your opponent's at four and you swing with this guy minus two draw two cards and then just rest her and get two dawn back in rest mode that is wild you're essentially just getting free value and drawing two cards for free so these two cards work really really well in succession and this guy is very very strong you can see his black flower anybody anytime somebody's got a black rose you know they mean business you know this man's drawn the business he is as clearly a businessman in his business suit with his business flower and his business star and he's mean in business when he's drawn two cards so we got two guild tesseros in here and then we got our one 3k oh yeah gordon this is gordon gordon i'm sure there's four of these in here yep makes sense four gordons and here we got shiki the golden lion shiki i think he's in strong world I, I you know of the movies i feel like i've heard the name of strong world the most so i definitely want to see strong world but what's kind of wild is once you have eight or more dawn on the field this guy cannot be ko'd in battle so it says when you have eight or more dawn on the field which i'm assuming that just means you have eight or more dawn but it's possible that you actually need your dawn attached to cards in the field for that technically to say you need them in the field i'm not sure the specifics on that that'll be something to look into but a 7k that can't be ko'd in battle is pretty pretty strong really blue is the only thing that is able to remove something like that so this guy's this guy's young wild i mean you see he's got a cigar he's not messed around and somehow the characters in one piece their cigars just like never disappear i I'm, i want to know how that works because these guys that are smoking cigars somehow they're always smoking cigars i've seen smoker get more more cigars out of his pocket but he's smoking two cigars at a time so that kind of makes sense for a guy to just be smoking one cigar all the time i don't know maybe it has something to do with his hat his head his wheel head ship's head wheel i don't know enough about him to, to speak from experience uh this is a trigger play i think guessing i actually don't know if that's a trigger play if this isn't trigger play then there i don't know what this card does yeah it's a trigger play just uh if you see it from life you can play it and then you can swing with it on the next turn. It's being played on your opponent's turn. So if it's played on your opponent's turn, then you can swing with it the next turn. So pretty good. Four of those guys. That's Scarlet. And then we got Z. Is that this guy's name? This is Z. Letter Z. This guy is kind of wild. Basically, if he's in battle with a strike character, he gets plus 3,000 power, which makes him an 11,000. And then you can activate main Dawn minus one once per turn and give him an extra 2,000. So this guy becomes a 13K off of skills if he's in the right battle, which makes him the strongest base character in the game, actually. Kaido is 12K base, but he's really 8k base but with his effects he becomes a 13k which is pretty pretty nuts i mean he's basically going to clear out whatever battle card he's swinging into so strike characters are in danger when this guy is in the area and we got two of those boys and then we got Dogoris burat he is from the stampede movie and this guy's a monster this card is literally just he might as well have been just called kid killer this is the kid killer this guy this guy dunks on kid not only does he dunk on kid this guy does a 360 degree roundhouse backboard shattering dunk on kid you pay him for eight energy right you get this guy on the board and then the next turn you dawn minus four you rest two character cards with a cost of six or less which is like there really aren't any blockers that are more than six i guess the the big kid the seven drop kid this dude just rests the blockers and then he's swinging for 10k which is absolutely wild he's a 10k base and he's swinging into that kid they're gonna need some defense to defend the kid because usually when you play kid you're playing it for eight you may leave it up and then try and defend with it the next turn but you play blockers to defend it this guy just says oh blockers i don't think so get down boy and then he bops him in the head look at him he's cracking his knuckles because he's preparing to 
to literally just punch kid in the face that's what this card is this is the kid killer kid is one of the most oppressive cards in the set kid is one of the most oppressive cards in the game right now and this card just straight answers it so pretty pretty cool card and it's shiny so douglas bullet it's pretty much a staple in every purple deck any deck that has purple you're playing this dude for sure this is our three cost 5k power it's probably four of these seems pretty standard in the starter decks they give you some vanilla cards but not sure why they put the text box with the vanilla cards and then a four four cost 6k i really do like this guy's fit his name is bins bins fit is pretty sick but yeah i don't know why they have these text boxes maybe it's like hey one day you can make up your own effect just write whatever you want in this box and make the cards do what you want i, I could imagine the one piece card game doing that all right this is your searcher and this guy's kind of crazy because he's actually a 2k counter searcher which I, we haven't seen that before we've seen 1k counter searchers but this is a 2k counter searcher which is kind of a big deal he also doesn't rest to search he's just an on play search so you play, pay him for one search top five and grab a film card and put the rest of the bottom of the deck so he's a little bit more like nami in that sense where he's not going to rest and gain you value each turn if they're not like getting rid of he's just going to kind of chill there once you play and then you're just going to search off him the top time and then other than that he's just a dude on board that's clogging up space basically but 2k counter is good that means good card and we got four of the searchers i'm sure yep four searchers there and we got this dude the two cost 4k what the heck is this guy's name dr something or another dr indigo from the film that i cannot two cost 4k power 1k counter pretty standard i bet there's four of those probably also yep surprise surprise and here we have lion's threat imperial earth bind so this trigger is you get a dawn in active mode from your dawn deck so if this if you see this off your life you can trigger it and play one dawn in active mode from your dawn deck and the effect on here is pay three dawn minus two and ko a character card with a cost of five or less so we just saw black reduces characters cost so this may be a really really powerful card in the next set when if there's black purple which is pretty likely uh if you're able to reduce costs of card with black then you're going to be able to pop it and kill it with this card right if you have a seven energy card and somehow you can reduce it by three or an eight energy card like kid and somehow you can reduce its cost by three then you just pay three doll minus two and ko it because it's now five cost is pretty spicy so removal in this game is just really good and you get two of these in that deck so really strong card and then we got union armado this is douglas bullet looking like a real freak nasty daddy this is a pretty trippy scene i don't know if you guys have seen this movie but it's like pretty wild what this dude is doing with his hockey it's pretty pretty crazy uh same trigger if you trigger this you get an unrested dawn so you just put a dawn from your dawn deck into your cost area in active mode and he's pretty wild you know basically if you defend with this card your opponent can't ko the card that they're swinging into so if they swing into a character card and you counter with this for two you're going to give it plus four thousand power which is usually going to get you out of attacks and then that character can't be ko'd for the turn so really really strong defensive card if you just don't want a card to die being able to counter with this and make it so it can't die but the restriction is this only works on film cards so you can only give the plus four thousand power to film cards and if it's a character card it won't be able to get ko'd for the turn so pretty pretty insanely strong card actually and and a cool looking scene and we got four of those and then we have our don 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 and oh something back here what's this maybe this is the learn how to play nice some qr codes on here i'm sure somewhere or something like that or some websites yeah learn how to play the one piece card game from these small pieces of paper i like that i like how cute and small they made these decks cute deck i am a big fan of the cute deck approach all right so now that we saw that we got to take a look at this jump magazine this is the v jump magazine i'm gonna get in here and strip them this thing tripping magazines now and in this magazine there is going to be a one piece promo card so oh cool here look check this out this is the one piece advertisement for the card game just came out romance dawn and here the promo is going to be inside of here so i don't know how i think i can strip them this also it says to cut it with scissors but i'm a professional stripper so it should be fine and ooh, yeah look at that one piece card there's the doofy 2k counter and the art is by Bisai. Bisai, thank you for making this beautiful art on this luffy card it's a 2k counter which means it's good and you put two dawn on this dude and then he gets plus 2000 so you know he essentially like a three cost 5000 in a way but the 2k counter is really strong so good card to run 2k counters are always good they also got this cool pull out in here with uh, more one piece stuff but you guys have seen all these cards already and everything definitely worth picking one of these up i think it's gonna be a really good collector's item since it's got the first ever promo one piece card in a v jump i think that's something that people are gonna 
want in time as life goes on. Anyway, I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be, did you know that your teeth have crystals in them? The enamel of your tooth is a crystalline structure called hydroxyapatite, which is funny because when you're hungry, you have an appetite, but the crystals that make up this structure are called hydroxyapatite, and they are the only crystals in your body, unless you have gout. And if you have gout, you should go to a doctor and get that taken care of. But if you don't have gout, the only crystals in your body are in your teeth. They're called hydroxyapatite. Your teeth are crystals and you communicate all your emotions and everything with the world with them and eat and laugh and all those things. So take care of those crystals, treasure them, and they will take care of you as you continue to write in this journey spinning around the sun however many times you get to thank you so much and i'll see you guys next time